and fashion and beauty and lifestyle. And a few years ago, my mum bought me a, like a camera, a handheld video camera, and um, I just kind of decided that I was going to play around with it and go for it. And then um, it just kind of stemmed from there. Just yeah, my mum was a big part. My mum was your inspiration. Yeah, she yeah, she knew that I kind of had an interest and acted upon it, I guess, by buying me a camera. I knew I wanted to work in VR um, or I had an interest in VR um, and I thought that <clears throat> the thought behind it was that I could document like different things that I'm doing on my way to kind of becoming a VR girl so instead of making it a blog about just purely just fashion or something I thought I'd make it kind of different little things and everything that I'm kind of up to so kind of like you're on a journey with me through my blog. stuck for names or something along those lines, I think it's best to create a list of your interests or something that means something to you, so maybe, I don't know what career you're in or maybe if you're like, if you've got like a certain interest in a different field, something like that, and then you can kind of just brainstorm and get inspiration from that. Um, I think it's easier if you're focusing on a specific thing, so for example, fashion, you can, you know, all these fashion terms and things, you can try and think of something like that. Other bloggers that I'm big fans of um, are In The Throw and Charlotte Fisher. I think they're both very passionate about what they do, but I think they also come across as very natural um, and quite friendly as well. I think as a blogger I can relate to them and I, I feel like you, they're kind of very natural in what they do, but it, their passion shines through their blog and they look as if they work really hard at the same time. I would say um, don't compare yourself to anyone else purely because what I've, through blogger discussions I've, we've come to the conclusion that comparing yourself to other bloggers kind of can make you doubt yourself and can make you kind of worry about whether you're, if your style isn't the same as theirs are you going to be as successful and things like that so I'd say don't and compare yourself to another blogger. I think it's so important to interact with other bloggers and people that uh, follow your social media pl platforms. So if somebody's asked you a, a question, I think it's really important to reply, especially you know if it's if it's not necessarily a friend of yours, if it's like somebody that's choosing to follow you, I think it's really important to come across as friendly and to respond to them and approachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, I think if you're approachable then you're halfway there. I, through like social media I'd seen Etel um, come up on different things and I thought it looked to be a creative platform. I like the way that Etel interact with their followers and with other bloggers and the how closely they work with brands, so I thought that in that respect they seemed really friendly and approachable. Um, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to work with brands that I perhaps wouldn't have the opportunity to work with before. Um, so I decided to go for it and apply, and um, just was kind of hoping for the best. And they was really happy with how friendly you guys were, and I like how you respond to every question that you get asked, and you don't nothing seems to be a problem.